The Blue Chamber is formed of smaller clans that mostly try to keep to themselves. The Collective is the most powerful political association in Arai. Though separated in clans, the one value they all share is the importance of family. The Blue Chamber Collective headquarters is located in the city of Berg in the Enmokar Forest. The meetings take place in the Blue Chamber. Some notable members of this faction are Risa Aberdeen and Sagard Battleborn. The Blue Chamber Collective has been the most stable power in Arai for a great many years. The overwhelming majority of tribes on the continent claim membership. Although the degree to which they participate varies widely, the core belief of the Blue Chamber Collective is that nothing matters more than family, and that all members of a tribe are an extension of one's family. As such, everyone is expected to look after one another and pull their own weight as best they can. However, their laws are harsh. Citizens are judged as bloodlines, not as individuals. Therefore, if someone commits a crime, their entire family must pay what is known as a blood price. A repayment of silver to the wronged party. The blood price is rarely demanded at once, but is rather paid off in smaller payments, especially in situations where the family has limited wealth or family members to draw from. Through this system, mob rule and revenge are usually avoided, although not always. For crimes that are unforgivably awful, or if an individual continually shows no desire to amend the wrongs they have committed, the guilty individual is exiled from their tribe forever. The collective prefers not to take lives, seeing it as a horrible waste, and will only met out death as punishment in the most dire of emergencies or in self-defense. The lineage is traced from the mother side in the collective. Next we have the heroic kingdom of Levat. They are a power that has split off from the Blue Chamber's ways by promising to liberate the population from the harsh obligations of their current lives by creating a new utopia. The headquarters of the heroic kingdom is the Hero's Palace in Levant, a city in the Abraza Desert. Some notable members are Queen Calixa and King Simeon. After the scourge struck Arai, the Abarasa region swiftly turned into an inhospitable desert and was overrun by the beasts of the scourge. Worst of all, it was beset by a truly enormous scourge beast, the Devourer, that forced the residents of Abarasa to flee for their lives. Many years later, a mercenary couple, King Simeon and Queen Calixa, led an army into the Abarasa desert and purged it of the scourge, managing to do the impossible and slay the huge beast. The bounty they reaped for their deeds was enough to found a kingdom. So under the advice of their dear friend Kairok, and with the blessing of Elat, that's exactly what they did. They repurposed one of the ancient fortresses of the old Levant tribes into the great walled city and set about trying to bring about their version of a utopia. The heroic kingdom of Levat operates outside of the Blue Chamber's authority and does not recognize the usual tenets of tribal law, opting instead for a much more individualistic approach. Rather than focus on the survival on the group, Levant champions the ideals of progress and personal freedom, believing that if everyone gets the chance to chase their dreams, everyone will eventually benefit. Levant has a standing army that answers to the royal family, but also employs many mercenary bands, relying on them to do most of the work to keep the region safe from the many dangerous animals and bandits that make Abarasa their home. In recent times, the Eurobic Kingdom has begun to suffer an overpopulation problem as people flock to the city, eager for a new start. A rugged slum has cropped up in the ruined district to the south of the city as a result. The third and final faction is the Holy Mission of Elat, a religious power that promotes the importance of achieving your utmost potential in order to better protect and serve your loved ones. Some notable members are Elat, Mofat and Suran. The Holy Mission began as the tribe without a name in the town of Monsoon under the guidance of a philosopher and mage named Elat. Then came the Scourge, whose beasts rampaged all across Harai, even attacking the very town of Monsoon. However, not long after, burning javelins of light rained from the sky above the hallowed marsh and drove the beasts to flee. Elat revealed that he had found a way to transcend his mortal flesh and become a living thought. He imbued his followers with pieces of his essence and sent them to defend Arai's people from the scourge. Now they play the role of peacekeepers and arbitrators, generally well respected across Arai. The holy mission of Elat is bound by three guiding principles, known as the three pillars of the endless path. 
Number one, no one should suffer. Help those in need, especially those weaker than you. Number two is, no one is safe. One must be disciplined if they are to survive the outside world. And lastly, no one is perfect. One must always strive to improve themselves so that they can better protect themselves and others. There are two major branches of the holy mission. One which is focused on research and magic, the other which is focused more on combat. The philosopher branch are scholars who research magic, corruption and the scourge. Tribal priests who provide guidance to each tribe, mentor those who show promise to join the holy mission and who tend to medical needs of the tribe. Disciples who administrate the holy mission and who are trained to destroy large gluts of corruption. The cardinal, the head of the holy mission. Then we have the martial branch. Missionaries who travel from region to region sorting out trouble and dealing with minor scourge threats. Templars who are proven warriors capable of dealing with grave threats. And two champions, the epitome of the martial path, who are granted great strength and shining armor sent to deal with the most perilous of threats. So this is going to conclude my video on the law of the three major factions of Outward. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and a subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below letting me know what is your favorite law in Outward and what is your favorite faction. And with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next one.